Oh, sorry, I didn't know I was live. Beg your pardon, everybody. Hang out. I always have a trouble coming from Zoom into Facebook. I don't know why. Um, Zoom always says it's preparing and I'm ready to go, but then all of a sudden it happened. Anyway, hello, everybody. It's Peter Beckenham, the Village Marketer. Again, thank you for uh, putting up with my technophobe ability. Today, I want to share very quickly with you how to be more credible. What a topic, right? Especially after a start like this on Facebook Live. And you wouldn't think it. Right? I've done 657 Facebook Lives and I still can't get the hang of using it with Zoom. Huh. Slow learner. Now, credibility, right? How to be the person that attracts people to you. How to get people to buy your stuff. How to get people to join your team. How to get people to follow your guidelines. How to get people to believe in you and follow you. There are eight bits of being credible, okay? And one of them is not about how to make Zoom work in Facebook, right? Because I just showed, I just proved myself wrong. The first one, oh, and it's called competence. I'm really hitting myself in the foot, right? Competence means you can solve the problem of your prospect. And you let people see you display your competence. <clears throat> now, my competence is not in video marketing, obviously, right? But whatever your niche is, whatever your competence level is, you must display it to people, okay? Show them that you're competent and that will help build your credibility. Number two, pretty obvious, but very important, trust. Be trustworthy. If people don't trust you, then it doesn't matter how competent you are, they're not going to listen to you. That's just pretty simple, right? Number three, have a commitment to deliver the results to your clients. We're talking about your credibility, right? You must be committed to delivering the results that, you, that your clients are paying you for, whatever it may be. If you're not committed to that, you're a fraud. And if you're a fraud, you're definitely not credible, okay? And if that's the case, your reputation is going to be shot the ribbons. So be committed to deliver results. Very, and not just 100% committed, 110% committed to delivering results to your clients, to your customers. Next one, pretty obvious, right? When talking about honesty uh, and trustworthiness is also to be ethical. Just today, I had a long conversation with somebody and ethics is an important part of this conversation. No names, no factual, but this person had spent a lot of time, and he's a very talented guy, spent a lot of time working on projects with people and they have refused to pay him despite repeated promises of doing that, okay? It's now got to the point where you have to take him to court. And it's, I mean, it's a very unsettling, disappointing and challenging time. So, and that's, that's a perfect example. And these are two different people, okay, who are, who are well established in their, in their environment, okay, but they're completely unethical because they've been promising and promising and promising and breaking promises and breaking promises to pay for the, the results that this person created for them in the first place. Next one, in terms of your credibility, be dependable. Do what you say you're going to do. Very important, okay? Do what you say you're going to do. It's that darn simple. Don't say one thing and do something different, okay? Next one, a part of your credibility is your expertise and your experience. If you don't have expertise and experience, then you can't have credibility. And you need to take the time to get that experience. You need to take the time to develop that expertise. Because if you don't have it, then why should people put their time, their trust, their faith and their money into you, okay? So expertise and experience is critical to your credibility. And it's not just a matter of reading a book, right? It's a matter of actually learning what to do, applying it, proving to people you can do it and proving to yourself that you can do it, okay? Second last one, very simple one, but actually comes into play. It's called likability. Generally speaking, people 
will regard you as credible if they like you. They'll also regard you as credible if they don't like you, by the way, if you are competent and if you are committed to re delivering results and if you are trustworthy and have the experience. But likability is a factor. It is a factor, all right? So it comes into play. And finally, one of the last, but the most important, one of the most important aspects of your credibility is your composure. How do you operate under pressure? How do, what happens to you in tough situations? Can you maintain your posture? Can you maintain your composure when things are not going smoothly? This is a measure of your leadership ability. It's a measure of your um, authority and is most definitely a measure of your credibility. So there you are. There's eight parts that I think you should take into consideration when being credible. If there's anything else you feel that we should have when it's being credible, please leave a comment underneath this. Let me know. I mean, if you're watching the replay, just say replay and then give me a, a comment about what else do you think is part of being credible. I'd love to hear your comments. In the meantime, thank you again for being part of this wonderful community, Your Next Level. I'm delighted and excited to have you there and I will give you everything I can to help get you and your business to the next level. Stay in touch. Keep talking to me. Okay. Bye for now.